Okay, so what we're going to do here is actually apply the formula that we talked about on the previous page. And um, we have the limit as h approaches 0 uh, of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So first of all, sometimes it's helpful to identify a couple of pieces uh, that we'll need. So first of all, having f of x plus h, especially because this is a rational function, would be a little bit easier. And basically what this means is wherever I have an x in my original function, I'm going to put in x plus h. So f of x plus h is basically just 1 over x plus h minus 1. So now I have this ready for me when I need to plug it into my formula. Okay. In addition to that, I will need a corresponding y value because they want an equation of the tangent line at that point. And based on what we talked about on page 2, you need a point, meaning you need an x and a y coordinate. So I need to evaluate f of 2, which in this case is 1 over 2 minus 1, so it's 1. Okay, so now I think I have everything that I need. So what I want to do is evaluate or find the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so this is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now again, I can't emphasize enough that you need to know this formula. It will not be given to you. So this is equal to, now I'm going to start plugging in all the pieces that I need. So I have the limit as h approaches 0. f of x plus h is actually what we found over here, 1 over x plus h minus 1. So I'm going to plug this in, 1 over x plus h minus 1 minus f of x, which is given to me, 1 over x minus 1, and this is all over h. Now, if I were to attempt direct substitution here, I would get um, a function that is uh, indeterminate, so I need to get rid of this complex fraction, which means I need to multiply by the least common denominator of x plus h minus 1 times x minus 1 over the same thing. And the whole purpose here is to get rid of this h. So now what I want to do is distribute. I'll distribute this to the first fraction and the second fraction. And when I distribute here, don't multiply anything out. Do not multiply the denominators. Okay, do not multiply denominators. Okay? All right. So I'm going to distribute. So that leaves me with a limit as h approaches 0. When I distribute this whole thing to this first fraction, these two cancel out, and I'm left with x minus 1. Minus, when I distribute here, my x minus 1's cancel, and I have the quantity of x plus h minus 1. And this is all over this crazy denominator over here. Okay, do not multiply anything out. The whole purpose in doing this is to get rid of this h so I can use direct substitution. So this is x plus h minus 1 times x minus 1. Okay, here I need to distribute my negative. So I have the limit as h approaches 0 of x minus 1 minus x minus h plus 1. And I'm going to leave the bottom as is. Now. These problems are designed so that anything in the numerator that does not have an h will go away. A positive x and a negative x. A positive 1 and a negative 1. So that means I'm left with a negative h in the top and then a factor of h in the bottom, which will allow me to reduce. So I have the limit as h approaches 0 of negative h on the top h on the bottom, x plus h minus 1, x minus 1. So now these are gone, and I have over here the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 1 over x plus h minus 1 times x minus 1. All right, so now I'm going to use direct substitution, okay, and uh, plug in 0 for h. So I want this, direct substitution, h is equal to 0. So that leaves me with negative 1 over. When I plug in 0 for h, this basically goes away, and I'm left with x minus 1 squared, which is the formula to find the slope of the tangent line. Now what that means is, is I can find the slope of the tangent line 
for any point on this curve. Okay, but they're not asking for any one that I want, they're asking for a specific one. So we want an equation of a line that's tangent to the curve at two. Okay, we already found um, the y value. What we need now is the slope. So the slope of the tangent line, okay, at two, I'll plug in two. So this is negative one over two minus one squared, which is negative one over one. So that means the slope of the tangent line is negative one. So what does that mean? Now I have the slope, I have a point, I can write an equation of the tangent line, which is what they asked me for up here. Okay, so now I have y minus my y value that we found at the top, which was one, is equal to my slope of negative one times x minus two. This right here is y minus y sub one is equal to m times x minus x sub one. You're done, this is what they wanted.